So we're about to head over here. We're going to get started in just a second. We usually start get started about three to five after to get people some time to come in. Um, I have some nice quick tips and tricks to help make your Shopify life a whole lot easier. Uh, but let me get some water because the voice is a little hoarse here. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Logan. Welcome, my Black Sunflower Fat Academy. <laughs> Academy fam. How's it going? Joining the Academy to yes, is getting real good in the Academy right now. I'll tell you that for sure. Um, we have a lot more people on board getting stuff together. We actually tonight have a book club and we also have an admin meeting tonight, which I'm super excited about. Um, the more people in there helping out to provide resources, um, the quicker we can all grow and help each other. Um, we've had quite a few sessions when um, we've had, I think so far we've actually had one, yesterday was an impromptu group consultation. And then uh, I think last week we had another group consultation and both of them were amazing. Hey, LaToya, I am good. Welcome, welcome. So yes, link in the bio, you guys, if you want to join me here on YouTube, we're going to stay on Instagram for just a moment. If you're watching the replay, the link will still be in the bio as well. This is right on time. Don't give up on Shopify. Don't do it. Don't do it. You launched 1028 and it's just easier to do my website on Wix. I'm wondering why. Listen here. The I promise you Shopify is the way to go. Now, I'm a little bit biased because I use Shopify or Wix in the very, very beginning. Like back in 2013, I spent all the time building my website and when I finally launched it, it was slow. It just looked, did not give me what I needed. Um, just the other day, um, I'm hosting an event called Fresh Kids. Fresh Kicks Market here in Seattle. I'm bringing Atlanta to Seattle. And I built the website in 30 minutes, laying on my side in my bed with one hand, like typing with one hand. That's how I built my Shopify website. Super quick and simple. And if you went to the website, you're like, man, she built that quick. That's right, Logan. You better not miss another session. We need you in there, boo. We need you. Yes, this live is going to be saved as well as all the other YouTube lives. You can just go to my YouTube page, make sure you subscribe, and then you'll be able to um, watch it later. As well as, okay, who else? We have, she is it Shelly? Shelly. Hey, Shelly. I like the way you smell that. Hey, Carol. Welcome, welcome. Um, what was I going to say? And then I was going to do it today, but I'm going to be live for the rest of who knows when. So tomorrow I'm announcing the 30K giveaway as well as we're having a sale. I haven't had a sale in so long. I have a bunch of mystery boxes on hand. Hey, Nikki, Nikki, come over and join us on YouTube. I'm using StreamYard, my love. We are doing it. Hello, Miss Solomon. Hello, everybody. All right. So everybody that's here on Instagram, I see there's a quite few, quite a few of you in here. Get out, get go to the link in my bio and visit us on YouTube because we are about to get this party started over here. We're talking about 10 things uh, or 10 tips to help you set up your Shopify store. So some of the things that I've learned, some of the things that I've known that I just want to make sure that you know what's going on so that you can get the most out of your Shopify store and not give it up, not give up like Miss Magnolia Lux over here. Uh, you would think Shopify is paying me, but they're not. <laughs> so here we go. Um, go ahead, clock out Instagram, click the link in the bio, so join me on YouTube and I'll see you in a second. Peace. All right, you guys, I am ready, ready. Um, this is always a good time to join the Academy. I'll tell you because all the classes right now for October are free and I'm I'm pretty much thinking I'm going to leave all the classes for November free as well. I'm feeling super froggy right now. So my chai tea so we can get this party started. And what we are talking about today, I am going to um, make sure that I'm not missing anything here. And then we're going to just go ahead and get started um, and do a reset and let every remind everyone while we're here and what we're going to get accomplished. So uh, my name is Jazz, owner and founder of Black Sunflower which I'm turning more into. It's not just a candle company. It's an overall, overall brand. We have Black Sunflower Academy. We have Vessels by Black Sunflower. You see the vessels sitting back there. They're going to launch very soon. We have gar the Garden by Black Sunflower. Um, I also have, what else did I have? Events by Black Sunflower. I have a lot that's going on right now. Um, and just recently, I've cut back on the amount of candles and, and how I'm structuring Black Sunflower to focus more on the academy. And not just the academy. Um, it's not just 
just about business. I really want to focus on the mental mental health of entrepreneurs because um, Black Sunflower grew so quickly and it was really important to me that I needed to get my mental health in check. And I go out and I'm looking for resources. There are not that many resources geared towards the mental health of entrepreneurs. So that is the route that we're going to focus on within the academy and want to make sure that, because um, I know how it is. It gets rough, you guys. So let's see, Logan in here, Latoya. Yes, Latoya, get into the academy. Ashley, you are, you, I, I love you, hun. Welcome back. I need to know if you passed that test. Um, what's up, Jose? Jose, welcome, welcome. Um, should I start an Instagram then send customers over to shop? Yes, yes. Even before we get started, that is a beautiful question, Carol. If you, you don't want to send people to your website because if you send people to your website, they're going to look and they're going to get off because mo- nine times out of 10, the first time they are not going to purchase anything from you. So with that, if you go ahead and have an Instagram page where they can follow along and see and give them a chance to realize, do they really want to purchase something from you or not? Um, you can grasp um, your your consumers there. Um, oh, it's 1140. Okay, now, Jose, I've, I matched it up. 1143 Films is Jose. Uh, mental health is everything. Mental health definitely matters. Um Yes, you guys, mental health is so important. So that is the route that I'm going. It's funny, I had a conversation with my therapist uh, last week and she's like, when you start making millions on millions, I'm going to start charging you more. I was like, well, instead of charging me more, can I just uh, pay for therapy for people in my academy? And that is, I hope to get to that goal. I know, I hope I will get to that goal where I can provide mental health resources and access for people within the academy because it's so necessary. Um, it's very, very necessary. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started with this. Um, Feel free to ask questions while I am talking. I may not answer the questions while we're going, but I'm definitely going to start them so I can come back later and answer those questions. I have the attention span of a ripe avocado and I want to make sure I get to everyone's questions. And sometimes if I stop mid-sentence, I'm going to completely forget what I was talking about and we don't want that. So without further ado, we are going to get started with 10 tips for setting up your Shopify store. And this is in no particular order, but some things that I said definitely will help you or your business improve, but definitely help your business move along. And so we're going to get started with the first one. It is get a custom domain. So whenever you get a Shopify store, it's going to give you whatever your store is, .myshopify.com. There is absolutely no way that you can build a brand off of .myshopify.com. Why? Um, you're so you're supposed to talk on its face, not the top. It's a simple mistake like this. Jose, am I supposed to talk like this? It is a Yeti. Yep, it is a blue mic. So am I supposed to talk like this, Jose? Uh-oh, there we go. Let me know. Let me know how this works, Jose, because I, 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 I don't know how this goes. So am I supposed to go this way? Let me know. <laughs> um, all right, like this? Okay, see, look. You learn something new every day. Thank you, Jose. I appreciate you. So I'm going to go ahead and continue here. So um, get a custom domain. There's no way you can build a legit brand off of um, a dot my whoever's other's business because you're simply promoting the other business. And let's be honest, um, you cannot be taken seriously if you have somebody else's brand name in your domain. So when you're going out and you're putting it on business cards or introducing yourself. If it says uh, xyz.myshopify.com, I'm automatically not going to take anybody serious. Um, So save yourself the the headache and just head over to, I personally use GoDaddy because I've used GoDaddy for so long. I personally have never uh, purchased a domain through Shopify, but I've had a lot of people who do. And I've heard their servers are really fast as well. So um, if you can go ahead and get a domain through um, Shopify, go ahead and do that. So yes, the first one, get a custom domain. Next one, when you pick your theme, you guys, when you pick your theme, it is not necessary to purchase an expensive theme. Do not let anyone (laughs) convince you that you need to purchase an expensive thing. Blacksunflower.com was a free theme up until March of this year, only because I've told myself, you know what? I've worked so hard on a free theme for so long. This is what I deserve. Even before I had a Shopify website, I had a Big Cartel website. Big Cartel, this is another like as much as I love Shopify, you guys, if you just don't have the money or don't want to spend a lot of time 
um, building your Shopify store, or you just want to get started, Big Cartel, B-I-G-C-A-R-T-E-L.com um, is a great way to go. The, I think it's five products is free. And then I think it's up to 50 products is $9.99 a month, um, which is really simple, really, really simple. Um, and with what I did with that, and I'm going to give you some of those tips later for this, but as long as you have quality photos and um, you can kind of get straight to the point, you can make almost any website look amazing. You just have to put in a little bit of extra love and care. The whole time you thought us you were supposed to buy a $300 theme. This right here, no, you do not need a $300 theme. I just brought a $300 theme in March and just because I felt like it. Um, I got to the point, like I said, I earned it. I've used a free theme these past two and a half years. I'm going to pay for a theme. Was it necessary? It was not necessary. So save your money, keep your coins, use that money towards advertising and marketing. All right. So the next one we have focus on your mobile layout. So when you're building your mobile store, you click online store and you click customize, it gives you the option to view it in a Desktop, desktop theme as well as a mobile theme. You want to make sure I always put mine right in that mobile theme and I do most of my editing from the mobile theme. Why? Because that's what most of the people are going to look at it on. Uh, Shopify has amazing analytics down to you can see where people are viewing your website from and you want to make sure that whatever they're viewing it from is the most efficient way for them to see whatever you need to convey to your consumer. So focus on the mobile layout. Quality photos. I cannot stress this. Quality photos, quality photos, quality photos. When in doubt, white background. When you're starting, white background. Do not You do not need a bunch of other stuff in your picture. The main focus is your product. Um, Canva, you can now remove backgrounds in Canva. iPhones now, you guys, the new iPhone update is a creator's dream. Put your stuff on a background, a contrasting background. Take the picture, hold it on the picture. It'll come out and then you move it into your photos. And there you go. You have your picture without a background. Before I used to use pixel cut. Um, I still use pixel cut every now and then um, for older photos. But any photo now, if you have an iPhone and you have the updated version of iPhone, use that, use that feature, you guys. It'll save you so much time and energy. Then you can just take that one picture, upload it to Canva on a white background. Boom, bam. Thank you, ma'am. One thing I do love about Pixel Cut, and I did pay for it, but Pixel Cut, you can add a shadow. So it doesn't look as stark, like it's just sitting and floating in a white background. Um, wait, wait, wait. But before I put it in Pixel Cut, I upload it to Lightroom on the app as well. I don't remember how much it was. It wasn't ridiculously bad, but I highly recommend paying for Adobe Lightroom. Adobe Lightroom will change your life. You upload a photo in there. They have different filters and you can copy and paste that same filter onto multiple photos so that your all your pictures have kind of the same feel. So if you go to blacksunflower.com, <laughs> it's almost like a rustic brownish tint to all of my pictures. Those are just filters. And I just use that same filter, copy and paste that filter onto all the other photos um, instead of sitting there and trying to to gauge where it's at. Um, it's hard to make a white theme website when your name is called Dark Lane by BK. No, it is. So what I would one nice thing about Shopify is you can alternate the color. So like mine is black sunflower. Most of my stuff is dark. And even before I just um I have like flower or greenery backgrounds in my photo pictures, mine's were white as well. And so what I did is I alternated. So like the top a slideshow piece would be darker, then I'd have a light version, then I have a dark version. And then where the pictures were having, I think it looks really tacky when you have a black background and stark white photos, but that portion where you have your pictures at, make sure that's just the white background and then everything else around it within your website, go ahead and make that black. Um, I'm, I'm in the same token as you. As you. Um, the other, <laughs> Christina says, wash hands. Christina, actually, my photographer is in the building right now, Christina Crawford. Um, <laughs> she right there has taken quite a few of my photos. So before I um, brought her on <laughs> to take my pictures, or I before she took my pictures, 
I did most of them by myself. I brought her on and she stepped up my game um, and definitely um, implemented a lot of things in me. But I also want people to know that you do not need a photographer. You do not need to hire somebody to take these pictures. We have so many tools at our fingertips to make that happen. Um, There's also a class within the Academy that talks about product photography 101. And Christina, I think it might be time for you to come back for another class, love. Um, I think the people are ready. I think a good positioning class and lighting class would be really good. That's the other thing. Make sure you have good lighting and a ring light Um, and and play with your structures. And you don't need to purchase a lot of expensive things. Most of the things that I have for my pictures, I got from the dollar store. I went to Goodwill. I got a lot of the stuff for my pictures from Goodwill. The backgrounds, I don't even purchase. They have like uh, background replicas and things like that. I don't even use those, you guys. Um, I go to Hobby Lobby and I have like black foam board, white foam board, Um, Those are the main two that I use, but a lot of the stuff I get from Hobby Lobby or in like the junk section at a a marble or a tile store, I just ask them for like their, their, get their throwaways. Like, what don't you guys need anymore? I'll take it. I need a replica surface. Give me your junk. I'll take it. I'll make some use of it. Um, So yes, quality photos when setting up your website. So while we're talking about photos, the next very important thing is optimizing your website. So if I was to take a lot of times the photos that I got directly from Christina and put them right up on my website, it would be way too much for the website to handle. And it will slow your website down. And when your website is slow, Fortunately, and I'm included, we have short attention spans. The average person, if a website takes longer than 10 seconds to load, they're usually going to click out of it and you want to prevent that from happening. So in order to prevent that from happening, you can go to different websites and um, just compress your media. So even if you just Google, uh, I forgot the site that I was using, but like you can just compress media, compress files, compress videos, things like that, and then upload them to your website. It allows more space so your website looks or runs a lot smoother. That is correct, Ashley. Um, Dollar Tree does have a lot of faux kitchen backdrops. They've upped their game. I went to this Dollar Tree the other day that I was like, wait, what? They had everything that you can think of. Uh, Actually, me and Christina went on quite a few field trips to the Dollar Tree. So you do not have to spend a lot of money. You do not have to buy those expensive replicas. Um, Even if you got wallpaper or um, pieces of tile, you go to the tile department and get the They're like the full sheets of tile that you would put onto the wall. I don't remember what they're called, but I got a few of those. Super simple, easy. You don't have to spend a lot in order to get that quality pictures and that background. But yes, optimizing your website is extremely important. Shopify actually has a website speed gauge where it'll let you know if your website is running slower or faster than other websites. Um, Some of the other ways that you can optimize your website is remove any additional plugins. We're going to talk about that next, but any additional plugins or anything that you're just not using on your website. Sometimes, here's another downside, if you purchase a theme, a lot of times those themes will have um, components in them that you don't even need to use, and it's going to slow down your website. So with that being said, if you know how or get somebody else to go in there in that code and remove some of the stuff. Now, I'll err on the side of caution. Um, A lot of times we go to Fiverr for a lot of things. Um, I personally just don't feel comfortable giving a lot of people access, like strangers access to my Shopify. Um, I had somebody do something on my website a long time ago. I don't even remember what he did, but my website started acting really funky after he uh, got a hold of my website. And from that point on, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do this anymore. Um, So yes, I'll optimize the website. What do we have here? Well, that can happen. I thought it was a user issue. Like if they have a slow, no, it is what you put on your website that is actually going to slow down. And yes, Nikki, um, and Nikki, you make sure you stay in here because I got to give you a shout out, my love. Um, yes, the peeling sticks work really good. And no, it is not your internet. It is definitely the website um, that makes it slow down. So the next thing, I talked about removing plugins, but now I'm going to talk about adding plugins. So these are the apps. Shopify is amazing when it comes to apps. Any and everything that you want to accomplish with your website, you can get an app for it. Whether it's uh, managing wholesale, um, reviews, whether it's um, email marketing, um, a copy. I don't have it turned on now. I did, but I could actually make it so people can't copy and paste the information from my website. In the beginning, I saw people literally take chunks out of my website and regurgitate it elsewhere. So I even put up an app within my website that you couldn't copy stuff 
from my website. You couldn't right click at all on my website. Um, what else do you have on there? Um, the pre-orders. There's an app to, that can manage your pre-orders. There's an app for the gifts. When If you ever checked out of my website, there says click here if there's a gift and you can send it to multiple locations. There is an app for everything inside of Shopify. And that's why I love it. Some are free, some are little, no cost. Now, remember those costs do add up and the more apps that you use, um, the slower your website will become. So you definitely want to make sure that you prioritize what's important for you. The number one thing that I want everyone to make sure that they have is actually the next one, email marketing. I am not a big fan of email marketing. I can't remember the last time I sent out an email. I think I'm going to send out one tomorrow because we're about to do that 30K giveaway. Um, but I haven't sent out many emails, but I do collect the information because it's very important. If Instagram decided it wanted to get an attitude, um, Mark was like, I don't want this anymore. I am SOL if I do not capture my um, uh, consumer base, the, my information. Now, um, Shopify does have a built-in uh, email marketing platform where you can collect it, but one of my favorites is Clavio. Hands down, my favorite, you can that pop up that says, hey, get 10% off if you put in your information here. It collects all that information and so much more. Um, so yeah, there we go. What app do I use? Clavio. Um, that's the one I used before I purchased that one. I definitely just use the one that comes with Shopify, which was good enough for collecting the data. But if you want to start the uh, really intuitive email sequences and uh, data gathering, Clavio is hands down, chef's kiss, the way to go. Um, Jose says, I've noticed 90% of my traffic comes from Instagram. Should I go full on advertising just on Instagram? I would say yes. Um, I, when I started my business, I didn't have a lot of money and I didn't want to spread myself to them. So one of the things I did is when I realized that's where most of my traffic is coming from, that's where I put my money to. And not only that, look into your analytics. What cities are, are is most of your traffic coming from? Are they male and female? What's the age range? Really dial in on that demographic that the data is already providing for you and then expand that and use that when you're creating your ads. It'll definitely save you a whole lot of money. So yes, you already knew that answer, Jose. You knew that answer. Um, the next thing you want to do, definitely set up a re refund and return policy. Great thing about Shopify, they basically have one sitting in there for you. And the great, even greater thing is that we have Google. Definitely find something that works within your realms, define what works for you, and then edit it accordingly. Um, it is your business. You do whatever makes you comfortable. Um, as much as we want the sale, do not bend over backwards and hurt yourself and go into your pockets to try to make everyone happy. Make sure your refund and your return policy is up to par with what works for you. Um, because in the end, Clav yep, yep, that's it right there. See this right here. This one right here. Logan is fierce over there. Excuse me. What's your advice for setting up shipping, shipping rates, and procedures? Charlie, great question. So it's it can get a little, hmm, it can get pretty intricate when you're trying to set up um, shipping and stuff. Um, the one thing I would recommend is make sure that you put in your weights for your products. Um, this is actually one of the things that we go over in the academy. We actually had how to set up your Shopify store part one a few weeks ago. The video is up in the video library. We're doing uh, part two, I think it's Thursday, either tomorrow or Thursday. I can't remember offhand. We're going to go deeper into setting up shipping rates, some of the settings, things like that um, in Black Sunflower Academy. So yes, um, my main tip is make sure that you put in the weights of your products when you're setting them up so that when you're setting up the carrier rates, um, and which is very important that sign up for USPS, sign up for UPS, sign up for FedEx, sign up for these uh, accounts because the more you use them, you get better discounts. And when you get better discounts, we all save and it gets to make your shipping a little bit less. But when you're pulling up carrier rates, it's going to pull from the weights that you have. So it's very important. And also with shipping, let's say you have a big box and you have something in there that weighs one pound. They're actually going to charge you quite a bit more because you're taking up a necessary space on their trucks or their airplanes, whatever it is. So it's very important to make sure that you um, are packing your stuff efficiently. I remember you saying on the Upflip episode, shipping can make or break a business. Shipping can definitely make or break a business. Like 
if you charge too much, people may not buy it. Check out, at checkout, they're going to bounce because they're like, I'm not paying this for shipping. If you charge too little, it's going to dip into your profits. Um, buying the right packaging stuff. If you're so focused, especially when you're starting, oh, I want this beautiful packaging. I want everything to be so nice and pretty. And you're spending all this money on packaging, you're eating into your profits. Take your time, build up, you guys. It is okay to build your brand. Like, act your wage when it comes to your business. When I started, I was wrapping my stuff in bubble wrap, bubble wrap in a box. And yes, I still called my product a luxury product because it was, it was quality. Um, but I wasn't going to waste my money at that time um, spending on tissue paper and crinkle paper and all this other stuff. I had my packing peanuts, my box and my basic clear tape and I call it a day. So yes, shipping will make or break a business. So that's one part where um, you can definitely personalize the package. And Nikki, I don't know if she's still in here, but Nikki has a class in Bubble Babes uh, University, uh, Luxury on a Budget. And so that one's definitely a good one. Um, uh, Tiffany, I'm going to start your question. I'm going to finish this list up because I'm almost there. And then I want to come back to your question. Definitely. The next one is SEO. So SEO is super awesome. Um, SEO is search engine optimization. It's how Google finds you. And uh, SEO can be attached to your pictures, um, to each of your products pages. So if somebody wants to Google luxury candles by XYZ, that's something that will come up because it will pull that different information from your website. So you want to make sure you get your SEO set up. There are two actual programs. I'll be honest with you. My SEO is still garbage. I have not completely set up my SEO um, because I just want to kind of keep up with what I have right now. And so I'm pretty content. Um, but two of them is Yoast SEO. And what's the other one? Smart SEO. Those are both apps that you can download to help you um, get your SEO started. Um, even just having the basics of what you're selling, what the name is, what name of it is, um, what kind of product? Is it a coconut soy wax candle? Is it a soy wax candle? Is it a bee wa beeswax candle? Is they, are they highly scented? Are they hypoallergenic? Whatever it is that makes your brand your brand, you want to make sure that you have that implemented in your SEO so when people are searching, they'll be able to find you. So that's another very important thing. Oh, Nikki said, I have you till 645. Hey, Nikki, let me know if you want to come over, my love. At the end, I'll definitely let you come on if you want to. Um, so yes, SEO is super important. This one, less is more, you guys. Just get started. Everyone spends so much time trying to make these big extravagant websites when, let's be honest, when you go to a website, okay, I know I'm at the website. I see the header cool, a little blurb about the person. Get me to the products. Show me what I want to buy. You guys, show me. I don't need to hear your long lifestyle story. Is when I was a when I was three, I always dreams of blah blah blah. Put that in your about section and move on. People want to cut. They came to your website to see what they want to buy. Like what what is this person really offering me? What can I get? Um, they don't want. And then if they want to hear your life story, they can click to the about me section and ha and have it there. But when you have four, five, six sections, you have testimonials, all this stuff before you get to the actual product? Like, no, you guys. I want you to focus on header, small blurb, maybe an even smaller blurb, product. And if you can get a shorter heading, small blurb, product, perfect. Put the testimonials and all that other stuff below. Like, let's be honest, they don't care. Like, they really don't care. They don't. We put that stuff there to make ourselves feel good about our websites. But people that are coming to your website, they really just want to get straight to the point. So less is more. Minimal pictures. When I say do the product pictures with the white background, product pictures with the white background. That's what we need. Keep it simple. Then you elaborate. I um, had a client one time that had... Um, so much stuff in the background of their picture. I asked them, I said, what are you selling? Are you selling your product? Or are you selling everything else in the background? Because all of that stuff is really taking away from what the main character is. We want your product to be the main character in the show. And it can't be um, for yes. Are we able to get a walkthrough of a mock Shopify store? Ashley, yes. I actually do that within the Academy, blacksunflowercademy.com. We do a full walkthrough. Um, we're on Zoom and I take you through every step on how to set up your Shopify store. Part one is already up in the video library. 
Um, and all you have to do is click play and I will literally start from the home screen and work my way down into products. It was only supposed to be an hour class. It ended up being an hour and a half, almost an hour and 45 minutes. So much so that we needed a part two. And I know we're going to need a part three because there are so much. Even I want to have a, uh, a session where we're literally just setting up the online portion, not adding the products and everything else, but just the online portion. Can you get the product photography video into the library? You can't see it. Oh no. I'm going to double check. I thought that was in there. I will double check when we get off of here, Logan. Um, I'm pretty sure that I thought I had it up. I have a really bad habit of putting up the classes and then not hitting make visible. And so here I am thinking that you guys have access to the class and you don't. So I want to get to the question on how to set up taxes. So Tiffany asked about how to set up taxes. One thing about setting up taxes is actually very simple. Um, for one, there's a website called TaxJar, which is very helpful with getting you set up in your realm of taxes. Um, the next thing is you only have to set up your taxes for the state that you have nexus in. And that's usually where you've incorporated your business. So if like I'm in Washington, the only place that I actually charge and pay for taxes for are my purchases out of Washington. Anybody in Georgia, New York, Florida, California, any of those other states, I do not charge taxes on them and neither should you. You should not charge taxes outside of your state until you reach a certain threshold. And it's a lot of money. I think some of them are 100,000, some are 150,000 within the state. Then you have to um, do all the le legal mumbo jumbo in order to get your business set up there and pay the taxes. So it's very important to realize that no, you do not have to set up your taxes for all the states. Um, when you go into settings, I think I forgot the exact section it's under right now. I can't remember. But when you're first setting up your website, it will definitely ask you, um, like, what's your state, um, where you're at, and that's where you'll get your taxes set up. So, yes, you are not charging taxes for the entire United States. You're only charging taxes for um, your location. So yes, there you go. I think I ran through all these questions and I'm so proud of myself because I did it in 30 minutes. It's hard for me to stay on task. So now I'm going to open up to questions. Um, but before that, I am going to give you guys a quick bonus. No, they are not paying me, but I'm always here to give a little help. Um, if you identify as Black or African American, they do have um, through Shopify, it's called 1MBB, 1 Million Black Businesses. They are offering 120 days free in conjunction with Operation Hope. They have a program that will help you with businesses. But then also, if you don't identify as Black or African American, Shopify is also running a special, I think it's a dollar for three months, um, which is pretty cool as well. So there are a lot of different resources. And listen, here's another secret. So let's say you're watching this video outside of this time frame where these things are offered. Um, if you start, they normally have a 14 day trial. If you just call up Shopify or contact customer service and say, hey, I need a little bit longer to set up my store, nine times out of 10, they will extend <laughs> your, uh, your trial. I've had quite a few people reach out to Shopify and say, hey, I need a little bit longer. Jose, you are the best. You are the best, Jose. So yes, um, I hope this was helpful to everybody. I hope everyone got some quick ideas um, and some tips on how to get their Shopify store set up. Um, now, if you want to go even deeper into that, you need to just bring your butt into the Academy, Black Sunflower Academy. Um, and here's how it works. You join the Academy. It's $69 a month. I let people know that is the only way to get a hold of me. And I am extremely, anybody in here that's in the Academy knows I am extremely accessible within the Academy. If you DM me or email me, I do not get back as quick because half the time I am in the Academy. That's where I'm, I'm hanging out. That's where we're um, collabing. Um, I mentioned the group consultations that we had. Amazing. We had one person who's been working on their labels for months and we got their labels taken care of. We had somebody who was a problem with their candle formula. We got down their candle, candle formula on the first group consultation. This one, she's like, burn the candle. It's amazing. So um, you have joined. Yay. Well, welcome. Come, after this, we're doing book club. And if you um, are not part of the Academy and just want to know a good book, you guys, Atomic Habits is what we're reading right now. Before last month, we read, we read Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, which is another amazing book. Um, I'm in the process. And then after the book club, we're having an admin meeting because I really want to get these resources up and going on the Academy. I'm working on getting um, the grant sections uh, all together. So 
We're going to have a whole list of grants and different funding options that are available. I'm currently looking for a grant writer to bring into the academy. I am in the process of creating a documents and form. So all of the forms you need, NDAs, um, gosh, employee agreements, all of that stuff. I'm going, I'm working on the edible PDFs to get into there. Um, what SEOs? Oh, for the apps for SEO, it's Yoast. Why? What is it? Y O A S T, like toast, but Yoast SEO. And the other one was Smart SEO. Yes. No, I don't have prenups, Ashley. No prenups, unfortunately. <laughs> um, working on getting all those documents in there, as well as, oh, I have um, an insurance guy that's going to be coming next month as well. The insurance guy is going to talk about business insurance, and he's actually my new insurance agent. And I freaking love, I love my rate on top of that. I had got an amazing rate for everything that he did. And he's going to come in and talk to everyone more about business insurance. Um, this is a, yes, anybody is able to join the Academy. Now the class times may be a little bit off, um, because we usually the class times around this time. So if this is a good time for you, um, this is when the live classes would normally are. So yes, you're definitely able to join. If I'm not mistaken, if for some reason the payment system won't let you go through, I'll just have to add the UK, but I'm pretty sure I have um, I have the conversion rates in there for um, the euro. I'm almost positive the euro is in there. So um, if not, if you have a problem, just hit me up. So yes, if you guys are interested in joining Black Sunflower Academy, all you have to do is later on in this video, it'll be below in the description box, or you just go to blacksunfloweracademy.com. If you want a three-day trial, you just go to Instagram, Type in trial in the DMs and you will get a trial. Last question. You, you, it doesn't matter if it's the last question. You can ask away right now. How much do you recommend on spending on an ad per day on IG? It depends on the type of ad. One thing that I will tell you is make sure that you run an ad from a, a video or a reel or something that has already done well. And also, I would highly recommend carousels. Carousel's a standard ad, like if you just post a picture, has about like a 1.12% engagement. And a carousel has about a 3.34% engagement. And so what that means is, let's say, and we've all done it before, where a picture will go past, we won't like it. Another picture will go past, you like it. Then you scroll on the carousel and realize, oh, I've already seen this post. I just like this picture better than the last one. So carousels are hands down the way to go if you're posting ads to get the best bang for your buck. Also a giveaway. I am um, running a giveaway. I think I'm going to launch it tomorrow. I'm going to be too tired to launch it tonight, but we're definitely going to have that launched as well. So with that being said, I hope you guys had a wonderful time here. I'm going to get ready for a foot club over in the Academy. I'll see everybody in the Academy over there in just a moment. Um, and if you guys need any additional help, you know, or you want to just check out the Academy, you can get your three day trial by typing trial into the DMS and I'll get you taken care of. So you're welcome, Jose. Um, thank you, Ashley, Miss Nye, Tiffany, Latoya, Logan. Who else did we have in here? Oh, Nikki, I don't know if you're still in here. Tiffany, what's up? Thank you, thank you. That's the dog, not me. <laughs> so yes, you guys, thank you so much for joining. And I hope you guys have an amazing day or evening. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. And for that, I am grateful. So have a great night and I'll talk to you guys all soon. Peace.